Aloha, Scott Simone Bell coming live from Sacramento, California, February 24th, 2017, 525 in the afternoon. Perfect day to talk about sales. And I want to share a couple of things that the salespeople that you as a salesperson can do to use the sales sequence for. And I'm going to give you the like the five most important things. So the first thing is going to be gather information. You know, your job is to go and ask all sorts of questions and figure out what could be done for the person that you meet with and talk to them, you know, and you're uncovering their problem, you're figuring out what's going on, you're finding their pain, you're finding their risk in the, in the the when you're meeting with CEOs or top level people. So there's gotta be a pain or a problem or some sort of risk for you to talk to them. The second thing is, is you could diagnose what has happened after you've asked all those questions because normally salespeople screw this up. What they'll do is they'll go in and they'll talk to somebody and they'll start diagnosing without the questions. So you know, it's like, you know, the whole medical thing, Prescription without diagnosis is malpractice. So there's that whole concept of diagnosing about what's going on, and then the recommendation can be made. Okay, so you got diagnose and recommend, those are probably gonna be in the same. And then you got overcome objections, because once you've gone through the process, you've gathered the information, you've diagnosed and recommended, now there's gonna be questions, concerns, objections, and that's not always a bad thing. So when I got into sales, I didn't understand that like objections are really your friend because that person's revealing information. They're telling you about the reasons why they could buy is just a little bit of, of information that you have to uncover and do some work, okay? And then the fourth thing is gonna be close. You're gonna to need to close the sale. You're gonna to to have to go and ask for the business, right? You're gonna to have to do what it takes to make that sale. It could be negotiation, it could be discounting. So I'm gonna put all that lumping into close. And then the fifth thing is that people can use the sales process for is to get referrals. Now marketing for no matter what industry that you're talking about is incredibly expensive. It costs a ton of money to market. So why not have the people that are buying something from you, a good, a product, a widget, a gizmo, help farm out that work and get you referrals because that just makes more sense, okay? So what is the, the sales process responsible for or what does it take to be in the sales process? You got gather information, diagnose, recommend, overcome objections, close, close the sale, and then fifth, get referrals. And a lot of salespeople miss this point that they should get referrals in the sales process because like they're, they're, they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to ask the question. But getting referrals is a sales process in itself. And you gotta figure out one of the ways to make that happen or many of the ways to make it happen for you to be more profitable and ask for more business, okay? Now, if you could do a small favor for me, in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do, you gotta subscribe. And then last of all, you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Why not even LinkedIn? Scott Sullivan Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, aloha.